Math 6, Quarter 1, Week 8, Milk Base. Let's learn about Types of Decimal Numbers. Lesson 1. Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in Math 6, we will discuss about types of decimal numbers. This is Lesson 1 of Week 8. For most essential learning competencies, differentiates terminating from repeating, non-terminating decimal quotients. After going through this lesson, you are expected to differentiate terminating from repeating, non-terminating decimal quotients. A rational number is a number that when written as decimal, either stops or repeats in a pattern. All rational numbers can be written as fractions or decimals. It can be all integers, positive and negative. It can also be zero. Examples are negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1 half, 1, 1 and 111 thousands, 2, 3 and 333 thousands. An irrational number is a number that when written as a decimal does not end and never repeats. It can never be written as a fraction and it cannot be written as a quotient of two integers. The decimal form of an irrational number either terminates or repeats. The square roots of numbers that are not perfect square are called irrational numbers. Examples are negative square root of 2, negative square root of 3, square root of 2, and square root of 3. And now, let us do this activity. Learning Task 1 Classify each number as a rational number and an irrational number. Write R for rational number and IR for irrational number in your notebook. Number 1 Negative 6. Is it rational or irrational number? Very good! The correct answer is R. It means rational number. Number 2. Square root of 7. Is it rational or irrational number? Very good! The answer is IR. It means irrational number. Number 3. 6 and 48 hundreds. Is it rational or irrational number? Very good. The answer is R. It means rational number. Number 4. What is this? Is it rational or irrational number? Very good. The answer is IR. It means irrational number. And for number 5, 3 nines. Is it rational or irrational number? Very good. The answer is IR. It means irrational number. The word terminate means end or stop. A decimal that end is a terminating decimal. A terminating decimal have a finite number of digits or numbers which come to an end after the decimal point. It is any rational number. When you divide the numerator by the denominator and you end up with a remainder of zero, then you have a terminating decimal. A repeating or non-terminating decimals have an infinite number of digits. It is a decimal number that continues endlessly with no group of digits repeated. 
When you divide the numerator by the denominator with the remainder that begin to repeat after some point, then you have a repeating or non-terminating decimal. It can be converted into fraction. And now, let's do learning task 2. Solve and identify if the decimal quotient is a terminating or repeating or non-terminating decimal. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. 3 divided by 20. Here is the solution. 3 divided by 20 cannot be. Put decimal point in the dividend and add 0. So 3 divided by 20 equals 0. 0 times 20 equals 0. 3 minus 0 equals 3. Then bring down 0. Then put a decimal point in the quotient, same place as in dividend. So 30 divided by 20 equals 1. 1 times 20 equals 20. 0 minus 0 equals 0. And 3 minus 2 equals 1. Then add 0 to the dividend and bring down 0. 100 divided by 20 equals 5. 5 times 20 equals 100. 100 minus 100 equals 0. So the quotient is 15 hundreds. It means this decimal is a terminating decimal. Number 2. 9 divided by 40. Here is the solution. 9 divided by 40 cannot be. Put a decimal point and 0 into the dividend. 9 divided by 40 equals 0. 0 times 40 equals 0. 9 minus 0 equals 9. Then bring down 0. Then put a decimal point in the quotient. 90 divided by 40 equals 2. 2 times 40 equals 80. Then 0 minus 0 equals 0. 9 minus 8 equals 1. Then add 0 to the dividend. Bring down 0. 100 divided by 40 equals 2. 2 times 40 equals 80. 100 minus 80 equals 20. Then add 0 again to the dividend. Then bring down 0. 200 divided by 40 equals 5. 5 times 40 equals 200. 200 minus 200 equals 0. The answer is 225 thousands. So this decimal is a terminating decimal. Number 3. 2 divided by 11. Here is the solution. 2 divided by 11 cannot be. Put decimal point and 0 to the dividend. 2 divided by 11 is 0. 0 times 11 equals 0. 2 minus 0 equals 2. Bring down 0. Then put decimal point in the quotient. 20 divided by 11 equals 1. 1 times 11 equals 11. 20 minus 11 equals 9. Then add 0 to the dividend and bring down 0. 90 divided by 11 equals 8. 8 times 11 equals 88. 90 minus 88 equals 2. Then add 0 to the dividend, bring down 0. 20 divided by 11 equals 1. 1 times 11 equals 11. 20 minus 11 equals 9. Then add 0 to the dividend, bring down 0. 90 divided by 11 equals 8. 8 times 11 equals 88. 90 minus 88 equals 2. So it means, so that means the decimal quotient is a repeating or non-terminating decimal. Number 4. 6 divided by 13. Here is the solution. First, put decimal point and add 0 to the dividend. 6 divided by 13 is 0. 0 times 13 equals 0. 6 minus 0 equals 6. Bring down 0. Then put decimal point in the quotient. 60 divided by 13 equals 4. 4 times 13 equals 52. 60 minus 52 equals 8. Then add 0 to the dividend. Bring down 0. 80 divided by 13 equals 6. 6 times 13 equals 78. 
80 minus 78 equals 2. Add 0 to the dividend. Bring down 0. 20 divided by 13 equals 1. 1 times 13 equals 13. 20 minus 13 equals 7. Then, add 0 to the dividend. Bring down 0. 70 divided by 13 equals 5. 5 times 13 equals 65. 70 minus 65 equals 5. So that means the decimal quotient is a repeating or non-terminating decimal. And for number 5, 5 divided by 16. First, put decimal point to the dividend and add 0. 5 divided by 16 equals 0. 0 times 16 equals 0. 5 minus 0 equals 5. Bring down 0. Then write decimal point in the quotient. 50 divided by 16 equals 3. 3 times 16 equals 48. 50 minus 48 equals 2. Add 0 to the dividend, then bring down 0. 20 divided by 16 equals 1. 1 times 16 equals 16. 20 minus 16 equals 4. Then add 0 to the dividend. Bring down 0. 40 divided by 16 equals 2. 2 times 16 equals 32. 40 minus 32 equals 8. Then add 0 to the dividend. Then bring down 0. 80 divided by 16 equals 5. 5 times 16 equals 80. 80 minus 80 equals 0. So that means the decimal quotient is a terminating decimal. Now let's proceed to learning task 3. Write the given fractions in decimal numbers or vice versa. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. 5 nines. Write this fraction in decimal numbers. How to write these fractions in decimal numbers? We have to divide the numerator to denominator. 5 divided by 9. Put decimal point and add 0 to the dividend. 5 divided by 9 equals 0. 0 times 9 equals 0. 5 minus 0 equals 5. Bring down 0. Then put decimal point in the quotient. 50 divided by 9 equals 5. 5 times 9 equals 45. 50 minus 45 equals 5. Then add 0 to the dividend. Bring down 0. 50 divided by 9 equals 5. 5 times 9 equals 45. 50 minus 45 equals 5. Add 0 to the dividend. Bring down 0. 50 divided by 9 equals 5. 5 times 9 equals 45. 50 minus 45 equals 5. So that means the quotient is a repeating or non-terminating decimals. So therefore, 5 nines in decimal is 555 thousands. Or you can put vinculum over the decimal numbers. It means repeated in the same pattern. Number 2. 3 over 20 or 3 divided by 20. First, put decimal point and add 0 to the dividend. 3 divided by 20 equals 0. 0 times 20 equals 0. 3 minus 0 equals 3. Then, bring down 0. Add decimal point to the quotient. 30 divided by 20 equals 1. 1 times 20 equals 20. 30 minus 20 equals 10. Then add 0 to the dividend. Bring down 0. 100 divided by 20 equals 5. 5 times 20 equals 100. 100 minus 100 equals 0. So this quotient is a terminating decimal. Therefore, 3 over 20 is equals to 15 hundreds. Number 3. 2 and 3 fourths. First, Divide the fraction, 3 fourths. 3 divided by 4 equals, put decimal point and add 0 to the dividend. 3 divided by 4 equals 0. 0 times 4 equals 0. 3 minus 0 equals 3. Bring down 0. Put decimal point to the quotient. 
30 divided by 4 equals 7. 7 times 4 equals 28. 30 minus 28 equals 2. Add 0 to the dividend, then bring down 0. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. 5 times 4 equals 20. 20 minus 20 equals 0. So therefore, 3 fourths is equivalent to 75 hundredths. Then, write the whole number 2. So 2 and 3 fourths is equivalent to 2 and 75 hundredths. Number 4, 25 hundredths. In fraction, it is 1 fourth. Number 5, 333 thousands. In fraction, it is 333 over 1,000. Vinculum, a horizontal line placed over an expression to show that everything below the line is one group. For example, in a decimal number, 333 thousands. This means that 333, which is under the bar, is repeated in the same pattern. This is a repeating or non-terminating decimals. And for learning task 4, identify what kind of decimal number are the following. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. 375,000 Is it A? Non-repeating decimals B. Repeating or non-terminating decimals C. Terminating decimals What is the answer? Very good! The answer is Letter C. Terminating decimals Number 2 Is it letter A? Non-repeating decimals B. Repeating or non-terminating decimals C. Terminating decimals What is the correct answer? Very good! The answer is letter B, repeating or non-terminating decimals. Number 3, is it A, non-repeating decimals? B, repeating or non-terminating decimals? C, terminating decimals. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter B, repeating or non-terminating decimals. Number 4. 15 hundreds. Is it A. Non-repeating decimals B. Repeating or non-terminating decimals C. Terminating decimals What is the correct answer? Very good! The answer is letter C. Terminating decimals And for number 5, is it A. Non-repeating decimals B. Repeating or non-terminating decimals. C. Terminating decimals. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter B. Repeating or non-terminating decimals. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!